Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today I made an SSTO that's a VTOL. It's more like a shuttlecraft, kind of, you know, kind of like those shuttlecrafts that you see in sci-fi movies. They go from the mothership down to the ground and they do a little away team mission and they hop back in the shuttlecraft and head back. I've always been fascinated by that stuff. I've made a couple of videos already about it. Now this one I'll be revisiting an old design but I want to tune it up a little bit, make it a little bit better. The older design featured a cockpit that was kind of part clipped into the back while the crew cab was up in front. That always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't really like how it sort of looked. I wanted something that looked a lot sleeker, a lot smoother. And recently for small shuttlecraft designs like this, I've been going for a cargo bay approach. What I'll do is I'll put fuel, batteries, and other control devices, reaction wheels and whatnot, in inside the cargo bay along with the Mark 1 cockpit, mostly because of the fact that it's really small and actually pretty light. But the best part about this is, is that it blends in with the body of the craft. I don't have to worry about bumps or protrusions from other style of cockpits. It's just real sleek. So you could imagine that the Kerbal is controlling the craft through a series of televisions and view screens and things of this nature. Or maybe they just wear a helmet. And because there's cameras all around the ship, they could literally look around the entire environment as if the walls were see-through. Now, the reason why I really like this particular type of design is because of the fact that it has actual air intakes that are inside of a service bay. They open up to allow air to come in or extra air to come in in order for the rapiers to work. Because even though one shock cone air intake can take care of four rapiers easy and six if you're careful, it only works if it's moving forward into the air, parked or standing still it doesn't really bring in that much air and so you'll actually flame out you'll need extra air intakes in order to get enough of the air resource in order to have the engine stay lit and if you plan on flying this thing on lathe then you're going to need more because the air is a lot thinner over there so i opted to put two air intakes in each of the service bays haven't really tested it on lathe yet but i'm pretty sure it'll work maybe i don't know well shuttlecraft ain't no good if it doesn't have a mothership so i used a older chassis and just kind of put a large cargo bay on it looked pretty cool i liked it but that's pretty much all the time i had to, to work on this week although i have been working on several projects that i've been posting an hour here and an hour there my creative inspirations have been bubbling to the surface recently and i've been kind of jumping on different projects here and there some star trekky looking others more mech warrior esque i was even looking at old projects like the stargate for those of you who don't know yes it's an actual s sg1 stargate in kerbal space program but anyway i hope you liked watching this video and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up it really helps with the youtube out i always screw that up always helps with the youtube algo ah, shit man youtube algorithm and if you really 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 liked it consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly on the weekends. We also have a membership program if you're interested. Get cool little emojis and badges and whatnot. Definitely check it out. Look forward to more videos on the weekends. I have this Monday off, so I'll be working on a few projects for next weekend. Anyway, love you all. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next- Oh, yes, and I know about the new KSP update. I have yet to download it because KSP updates are notorious for breaking everything from saves to crafts to mods and i have seen that they got that little alien structure on the moon now i am curious about it so i think what i'll do is i'll download it and just play it without mods and see what's up could be fun maybe that'll be in the next video all right everybody thank you for watching this kerbal space program video and i'll see you all soon later Bye bye